Angelic, we heard you on um, the questions that you asked to the finance MEC about e-tolls. We've also seen uh, that many web articles saying that um, from the DDG of uh, Public Finance and Treasury that motorists are responsible, will be responsible for paying that money. But the in the premier last week said not so. So just how satisfied were you with the response that you got to today? Well, I think you guys were in the house and you heard what the response was and the MEC indicated that he'll give his answer next week when it comes to his budget speech. So yes, we are still in limbo as, as the rest of the residents of this uh, province. We don't know what the outcomes are going to be and I think that is the biggest problem at this point in time, that people don't know what to expect. So will people be paid, people that haven't paid for ETHOS up and now we uh, forced to pay? Uh, will there be paybacks for people who paid? So yes, you get different answers from different people. You just alluded to the money web uh, article. So, so yes, no, we're not happy with the answers. We feel that uh, uh, why wait another week? We've waited how many months and years now? Uh, and we need to come to bring this uh, to a conclusion. So no, we're not happy. We want the answers and we want the MEC next week to tell us exactly what's going to uh, be happening with ETOLs and not just pass the buck again to say, well, you know, we've got the next place. And you heard the, the, some of the answers in, uh, in the House mentioned that they are working on the project. So, so is this week going to be enough to finalise the project? We do hope so because we need finality and we need answers. Um, the DDG's words about uh, having to recoup that money from uh, motorists, just your, your thoughts on that? I think that is, it's very divisive at this point in time because, like you rightly said, both the MEC as well as the Premier has said that's not going to be how it's going to work. It's not going to be recouped from residents, it's going to be written off and it's going to be paid by government, both by the provincial government as well as national government. So th that is, that is a, a, of great concern to say that the residents will be held accountable for a fault that, or something that wasn't brought about by them. And then just uh, maybe lastly, uh, do you have faith that uh, next week Tuesday when the housing budget comes up that we will have answers to what the finality rather on uh, it also does it feel like today might have just been kicking the can further down the road? I would say that I really do hope that we get finalisation, that we get clarity on what exactly the way forward is. Um, but after today's answers, I feel that we might be in for a longer ride, and it might be just be exactly like you alluded to, the kicking the can uh, further down into the future, because for according to me, uh, if you take the answers that have been coming out from National Treasury and from the province, it doesn't come together, and I don't think we're going to see a final answer next week. Thank you.